Delhi splashed out the cash and bought Yuvraj Singh for 16 crores in IPL Season 8 auction. Take a look at what the former India coach and present Delhi captain had to say about the marquee buy. The big talking point to start with is, is, is Yuvraj, of course. Uh, you had to go for it because he was obviously looking to rebuild the team and he seemed to be that one big marquee player which could sort of help uh, boost the side. Absolutely. I mean, you know, I don't think, uh, you know, your kind of big Indian players, they're, they're not many available at the moment and, uh, you know, that's to some of their benefit, no doubt, because, uh, you know, there are always going to be a couple of teams going for them and we knew that and, uh, you know, we knew that it would be fairly expensive to buy him, but we felt that he would be important to our team. You know, I've loved working with Yuvraj as a, as a player with India and, um, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to that experience. In these dynamics of the auction, that's the way that the price tag goes sometimes, isn't it? Obviously, Yuvraj's value for money, he's a match winner, but in a situation where he's that big marquee player, teams will go for him and hence the big price. Yeah, because there are not many other Indian you know your kind of marquee Indian players to go for, especially amongst the batsmen. So you, you know, you tend to build your team around around those players. And um, yeah, I mean, we just felt that uh, uh, he was he was going to be key for us. And because we had money to spend, um, you know, we were pretty keen to to go all the way. Uh, Yuvi, uh, of course, the, the the man of the tournament at the last World Cup would be disappointed of missing out on this one. Would this opportunity sort of give his career a new wine, one may say so? So as I can understand it, um, you know, he's motivated in his cricket still. Um, he's played really well in domestic cricket here over the last uh, uh, couple of months. And, uh, um, you know, I think I think he's going to be motivated to prove to people that he, he still has something left in him. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm excited by that. And how, uh, you know, ch how much of a challenge is it for you to sort of turn things around? You know, last season didn't go to plan and we haven't known Gary Kirsten, the coach, ever fail. So, <laughs> so, so in that sense, uh, looking forward to this sort of new team, new look? Yeah, it is. I mean, listen, it was, a, it was, a, it was really challenging last year and, um, as, you know, um, I think it was great learning for me. Um, you know, I think IPL was a very different space as a coach compared to international coaching. and. Um, I think I took a lot of learning out, out of last year.